Well, the following theorem forms the basis of all integration theory. And it's due to Riemann. So suppose f is a continuous function on a closed interval. Then it holds that f is integrable as a function. So that it means that the definite integral the definite integral over a b exists. So the, the integral from a to b over fx dx exists. Yeah, so there's something to be found here since we mainly dealt with differentiable and continuous function on intervals. Notice that we have also seen uh, discontinuous functions, but uh, the theory is not that restrictive um, since we may show that f is also integrable if we only have finitely many discontinuities. And you can even take one step further in expressing that you might have infinitely many discontinuities, but these should be countable. Well, what does it say? Here's a small picture of a discontinuous function. Yeah, we see a jump. Yeah, so we, and now we estimate the definite integral from the left hand side to the right hand side. Then we get several areas. Yeah, we get the yellow area and we get two uh, red areas under the graph. Then the definite integral will be the sum of those red areas minus the yellow area. Yeah, so the integral, the definite integral from a to b, fx dx, equals the red area minus the yellow area. Yeah, since the red parts contribute in a positive way in the Riemann sums in, the, in these estimates, and the yellow part will count negatively. Well, those functions for which the definite integral exists are also called Riemann integrable. 